Palisade Calligraphy is Hyundai's all-wheel drive upscale three-row SUV and it definitely lives up to that upscale designation. This car has a 3.8 liter V6 engine and an eight-speed automatic transmission with manual paddle shifters and it is just a blast to drive. We've been fortunate enough to have it for two weeks straight. Hyundai was gracious enough to extend our loan. And so we've really had a chance to spend a lot of time with this, get familiar with it and figure out what we love. Maybe there are a few things that we took some notes on, but overall there was not a lot to criticize about the Palisade. This is a fantastic vehicle particularly if you're in the market for a new family car and you need something with three rows, we highly, highly recommend this one as a viable option. The absolute number one thing that I love on the Hyundai Palisade calligraphy are these seats. They've got Napa leather upholstery on them. They're super luxurious and soft. You can almost just tell by looking at them that these are very luxurious, soft, comfy seats. And my husband and I were remarking on how this would make such a great road trip vehicle because you can sit in these seats for so long and you're so comfortable and you can adjust the lumbar support and everything down here and get it just right. But I actually found that I didn't have to do much adjusting because the seats themselves are very comfortable. The steering wheel's got all the buttons that you would expect to find, like the volume control, the multimedia control, voice command, phone access, uh, cruise control, all that. Uh, one of my favorite things that you can see, we've got a digital gauge cluster there. And the cool thing is that when you signal, that turns into a camera for your blind spots which is just kind of a nice feature to increase visibility and keep you just a little bit more safe. Here you've got your center console with all your controls. As you can see, the gear shift is just buttons. So that may take some getting used to for people that are used to, you know, the typical gear shifter and selector that you manually move, but that you, you do get used to that. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Um, one thing that we found interesting, so there's, Usually we've got, you know, physical buttons for a lot of the things that are on the touch screen. The one exception being with the climate control system to increase the fan speed, you have to do that on the touch screen. There's no physical button to increase the fan speed. Um, and you can, but it's easy to navigate. It's right here. You can touch it really easily. Just drag it, pull it back down. It's really easy. But that's just something to be aware of if you prefer physical buttons you don't have that for the fan speed you can adjust the temperature with the knobs and if you don't want to do um, a synced climate you can take off the sync button there and this side with the dual climate control can they can have it nice and toasty while you cool things off over here um, heated and ventilated seats in the front and in the second row my favorite feature, the heated steering wheel. You've got all these different drive modes here, smart mode, sport, comfort, eco, and snow mode. I did put it into snow mode when I was driving around in the snow and it, it worked great, but also I feel like it worked just as well in the smart mode. Typically, because we also own a Kia Telluride, which is very similar to the Palisade. And so we have these same driving modes as well we most of the time just leave it in smart mode because we figure well the car is going to know which mode is going to be best for my driving situation so i find that leaving it in smart mode works just fine other than that you've got other buttons and controls for parking if you want to take a look at your cameras it gives you a good view all around you look at that isn't that cool Love that, that's an excellent camera system on the Palisade. And then you also have this auto hold feature, which when you come to a stop, the engine will automatically turn off. And this is meant to be, you know, more 
environmentally friendly, more fuel efficient. But if you don't like that, if that bothers you when you're stopping at lights and everything and you'd rather just have the engine keep going, um, you can hit this and turn it off so that the engine just continuously runs. We've got this wonderful storage compartment that I absolutely love. So convenient to have it nicely boxed in here for all my things. You've got a wireless charging pad for your phone. You've got a USB port. You've got some cup holders. And watch this, those are my favorite things. Whoop. Look at that, so cool. So I can go ahead and you know, put my drinks in there. Keeps everything nice and, <laughs> and steady while I'm driving around. Um, got this center cubby with a small little removable shelf for storage and also a deep, nice pocket in there for anything that you might need to tote around. In addition, one of my favorite things, if I can catch it, underneath here, Hyundai gives you this whole big cubby for storage. Perfect place to put your giant bag or whatever so it's not flying around as you're driving. That is a wonderful feature for us moms. You get this nice 12.3 inch touchscreen that is super easy to use, very plain and simple. I love that there's really only two options of pages. I don't like when touchscreens have like endless amounts of things to select from because I feel like when you're driving a car, that's the last thing you need is to have to search through a bunch of different buttons and options and apps. You only really need a few. And some of my favorite on here, I love that you can hit this passenger talk button and it just says the front microphone will pick up the driver's voice and play it through the rear speakers. So if I have this on and I'm trying to talk to my kids in the third row and it's super noisy, I've got the music going, I can talk to them without having to raise my voice and they'll hear me very clearly. Another thing that I think is really cool is that there's this quiet mode so if you're listening to music or the radio, if you're, on a, if you're on a road trip or something and the kids fall asleep in the back row, you can select quiet mode and then the music is only played in the front seats and all volume levels are automatically decreased to level 25, which is very helpful. Other than that, you've got your basic functions and features like your navigation menu, your map, um, your climate controls, all of that. You can even leave yourself a voice memo if you'd like. One of my favorite things on the touchscreen in this multimedia system, it's also one of my kids' favorite things, is the sounds of nature. Select that and you can choose from a rainy day, open air cafe, warm fireplace, snowy village, or a lively forest, or calm sea waves, that's another nice one. And those are just nice if we're driving around and we want to mellow out the kids a little bit. These are wonderful. I think that's a really nice touch. And it just goes to show that this definitely was made with moms in mind. Moving to the second roll, you can see, look how nice and wide that car door opens, giving you plenty of space to install car seats. Right now I've only got my son's booster seat in here. So easy to put in. I love boosters for that reason, but installing a four point or five point harness child seat is also super easy because of the lower latch system in the back of the seat anchors as well. That is another great feature as a mom is ease of installing car seats. And my kids love sitting back here. As you can see, there really is not much of a difference from the captain's chairs in the front to the captain's chairs in the second row. They're pretty much the same. Both of them are heated and ventilated both of them covered in Napa leather and they are so soft, so comfy. Even as a passenger in the second row, I feel like I'm riding in luxury. As a second row passenger, you can see I have so much headspace. I've got this sunroof up here giving in lots of light to the second row, which is wonderful when you've got car sick prone kids like we do. Just kind of keeps things open and light and I also love that it has manual sunshades, which is great if we're going on a long trip or something and we want the kids to take a nap in the back, or even if we're just driving around in the afternoon and the sun is hitting off the snow and it's glaring. My kids love this. I love that. So 
as a mom, I just love this car. I think that it is made for families. I honestly would consider buying it for our next family vehicle. As a second row passenger, look how much leg room I have. I can just like lounge out here. We've got our climate control system right here as well. My heated and ventilated seats. Lots of space, lots of distance from the second captain's chair as well. So you're not even like squished in with whoever else is in the second row with you. Okay, moving back to the third row. Guys, even the third row is so comfortable. And you can technically fit three passengers back here. It might be a little squished if there are three adults. It's doable, but ideally, I mean, two adults would fit very comfortably back here. And I will say, this is something where I think that Hyundai deserves a lot of praise and a big reason why I would consider making this maybe our next family car. This third row, comes with heated seats, which is amazing. How many three row midsize SUVs do you know that have heated third row seats? Now the first and second row are heated and ventilated, but I'll take it. If it is a cold day and it has been very cold here lately, it's nice to know that if I have to climb in the very back row, I can still be just as comfortable as if I'm sitting in the first or second rows. So I love that. Props to Hyundai for including heated third row seats. Now as a passenger in the third row, my knees are touching the back of the seat, but that's because this seat is pushed all the way back. And even with it pushed all the way back, I'm not I'm not really that cramped. I mean, it's tight, but we could easily push this seat forward and give me a little bit more room. I'm 5'9", so about, you know, average height, and I'm very comfortable. You can also see how much headroom I have back here. This amazes me that I can have so much space and headroom as a third row passenger, as an adult, in this midsize SUV. I think it's fantastic. I wouldn't mind sitting back here. Again, heated seats love that but Hyundai they just have every single passenger in mind when they design this car and I have to give them a huge round of applause for designing a car that's comfortable the whole cabin through. You have lots of great cargo space back here even with the third row up you've got some decent amount of space for your things also if you pull up this shelf you've got extra storage space underneath which is nice but if you need even more, go ahead and lay down that third row. I'm going to hit both the buttons there. So the third row seat folds down. If I had one complaint, I would say I actually prefer just to manually be able to flip it down so it goes a little bit faster. But still, that's nice. I mean, it takes care of it for you. And then the second row, you can see my, my captain's chair is already folded down there, but I can fold down the other one as well see and that's a lot faster <laughs> but you've got a nice flat area in the back for cargo which is just amazing i think i just am falling more and more in love with this car with every feature that we explore so i have spent two weeks with the 2023 hyundai palisade calligraphy and I love this car. As a mom, I feel like this is probably one of the best cars that I could recommend to other parents that are toting around kids and want something that is safe and comfortable and really easy to drive. And there are just so many things that I love about this car that I truly, truly am sad to see it go. It's getting picked up today. I will reluctantly be handing over the keys. <laughs> like your favorite couch in your house is how I would describe the seats in the Palisade calligraphy. And the thing is, it's not limited to just the driver and the passenger seats. It's all three rows have exceptionally comfortable seating. Another thing that I really love about this Palisade calligraphy, it's so easy to drive. It's, it just kind of glides along effortlessly. Recently, we just had a big snowstorm and I didn't have time to clear off my driveway before I had to leave my house and so 
I had to back this thing out over about five inches of snow, which I know is not ideal. And I was a little worried that I was going to get stuck or slide around. And that was not the case at all. This thing tackled the snow like a pro. I kind of likened it to a rolling pin, just sort of going over the snow with no hesitation. And I was shocked at how well it handled in the snow. It didn't slip, the tires didn't spin out or anything. They just had a firm grip and they were smooth. And never once was I concerned about driving this in slippery, wet, snowy, icy conditions because I knew that it was really stable and that I was able to maintain control very easily. My husband and I joked that the Palisade is kind of like the car you buy when you want a minivan, but you don't want a car that looks like a minivan <laughs> because this is just so comfortable and luxurious and it has such a, a family feel to it that you almost do think you're driving a minivan in the best of sense, but if you look at it, I mean, it doesn't look like one. And I will say that the, the moment that midsize SUVs figure out how to do the sliding doors that minivans are so famous for, I mean, that's when minivans are toast, honestly. On the calligraphy trim, all-wheel drive is standard. And you do get a little bit more traction control with that and less slippage like in in bad weather situations we've had lots of snow here over the past feels like eight months but especially this past week we've had a lot of storms and this car has just done so well with staying gripped to the road with no slipping no spinning out nothing like that it just glides so I feel like I cannot say enough good things about the Palisade. It definitely is on my list of, of family vehicles that we might own. We may end up going out and buying one as soon as this one gets handed back over to Hyundai because we're gonna miss it. It's a great car, definitely check it out.